an update on my life, but I think the most uh, important things that have happened have been kind of personally this past week. So I can say that probably for the past three weeks to a month, I've had a really, really bad stomach pain, like really bloated and P.S. This is going to be TMI. So if you're squeamish or if you don't want to see me in that light, you better shut it off. Um, but I've just had really, really bad stomach pains and like a bubble in my stomach, but it felt like knives. And I know that I get this pain from stress, but I didn't really realize that I was stressed out um, because my whole life is stress, right? I mean, everything I do is stressful. So it didn't seem like anything was especially out of the ordinary. Um, but I went away last weekend. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, well, well, I forgot to tell you. I mean, I'm just here back, but uh, we went camping, which I'll give an update on that after this. I lose my focus very, very easily. Um, but I, okay, so back to the stress and not realizing I was super stressed out or unusually stressed. Um, so we went camping and on the camping trip, my, my stomach pressure and stomach pain went away because I relaxed. And so it made me realize, okay, it is stress. It's not just me ovulating or being on my period or just being off my period or because I ate carbs or I don't know, whatever it is, it's not that. I've been taking medication like stuff for gas because nothing's coming out. It's all just trapped in and very, 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 very painful. Um, gosh, I could tell you even more gross things, but I won't. But I tried everything to make the stomach pain go away, and I mean everything. But realizing that it was stress was huge. So my stomach pain went away in the camping trip, and then something stressful happened on the camping trip, and my stomach pain came back immediately. Immediately I was bloated and had that sharp, horrible pain again. So I'm like, at least now I can identify what it is, right? Um, okay, so maybe now is a good time to talk about camping because I'll probably forget later. Um, it was amazing. So we went to Lake Kravis, Livingston? No idea. I didn't drive, I rode. It wasn't that far, it was like two and a half hours away maybe. And um, I packed like I was spending a month in Mexico because I had this amazing vision of taking some of the pieces for Shop the Social, not Shop the Social, that's the Instagram name, follow me. Um, but taking pieces from the social and doing like a kind of like, kind of rugged outdoor shoot, like girl sits on a log with diamond necklace, like that kind of feel. Um, and I think I, it would have been really good had I done it on the first day because my appearance rapidly declined. So I looked really cute the first day. And then the next day, not so great. The third day, frightening. So that didn't end up happening. Um, but we did sleep in a tent. We brought our friend's tent. Thanks, Elisa. It was amazing. It was like a mansion of a tent. It was like one of those where you like unzip the bag and do this and the whole tent pops up. So it was like that. And our friends, Carmen and Kyle, that were with us had like an actual tent that you have to like shove together. So I got to see both. Um, I definitely would like to buy a tent and I would like to buy a, you know, easy tent. Um, we had air mattresses. Oh my God. Okay, so the first night, um, we got there like in the evening, opened the wine. I was happy. I forget what we ate. Oh, I guess they made burgers and hot dogs, the guys did on the grill. And um, we went to bed and Tori tortured me. I So we didn't take Stella because hell no. You've seen how she behaves in a home. I could not have her acting like that with bugs and well, there weren't really animals there, but just not in the, uh -uh, no way, no way, no way, no way. Maybe next year or the year after. Um, so it was just Tori, me, and Steven, and then the other family, our friends that we went with, Kyle, Carmen, and their two kids. And so Steven and Kyle stayed up late. Uh, the ladies and the kids all went to bed a little bit early. And so um, we go to bed. I've taken my Benadryl. Life is good. And then Tori wakes up. Not once, not twice, not three times, not eight times, not 10 times, but 97 times. 
it, it was a form of emotional torture, mental torture, physical torture. It was horrific. It was like a joke. Every time I felt like I was finally starting to fall asleep, she would have a dream or wake up or call out. I'm like, oh my God. And lovely Steven, when he came to bed, he was so passed out from the campfire and maybe some whiskey that he didn't even, he's a heavy sleeper. So he didn't even notice. So I was pissed that I was being tortured all by myself. Tori didn't really seem to be bothered by it because every time she would wake up, she would just go back to sleep. But then 10 minutes later, I don't know. So I woke up in the worst mood the second day, like the worst mood. Um, but we got over that. What do we do? We went, they went fishing. Did I touch a fish? I didn't touch a fish, but I touched a worm. And I did not hook the worm because I don't really like murdering bugs, animals, um, worms. So I didn't do that. I didn't touch a fish. Uh, I didn't even reel one in. I didn't even want to. I was so tired. I just lay back and relaxed. But it was just awesome. I really, really, really enjoyed camping. I would pack a little bit differently next time. Um, but I liked where we stayed and I can do a tent. Oh, you know what I hated? Is that the bathroom was so far and I have to pee a lot. It's just in my nature. And so to have to walk all the way far away, like in the middle of the night, luckily I didn't have to do that, but like first thing in the morning or like you're all cozy in bed and then you realize, oh my gosh, I have to pee. That sucked. So I'd like to either learn how to pee outside. Maybe I can practice that or um, maybe have a campsite that's closer to the bathroom would be ideal. Um, so anyways, camping was great and my realization of the stress causing me physical pain, you know, came to light. And I reached out to my coach, Mike Vacanti, my fitness coach, but he's like a life coach to me too. And, but I just told him like, I'm fat right now, I'm fat, I have short hair, I'm unhappy, I'm not feeling cute. And this was, this was, this must have been before we went camping. And um, he asked me if I was unusually stressed and I said, no, I mean, I'm always stressed. Um, but then I got back to him and I explained to him that now at least I know what it is. And he kind of, we're, we're gonna start, I guess, a little light bulk. And while my weight's up a little bit, at least make good use of the extra calories and get some added muscle on here um so we're gonna go ahead and do that what else i'm losing my train of thought it's so beautiful outside i'm finding it hard to find